Hello my lovelies. Today we are going to cook an on plan Christmas dinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do step two version and then I'm going to do a step three version that also includes a dessert. Yep, I'm gonna have Christmas dinner and a dessert all on plan 100% for step three. And there's even potatoes in it. I know, the dream, we're living the dream. So, to start with, probably what you want to do first is make the jelly. So I'll talk for your dessert, basically. So if you're doing step three and you want the Christmas dinner with the dessert, you probably need to make the jelly ahead of time. So that is gonna be your step one to do. You can do it the day before, you can do it earlier in the day. The jelly keeps for a couple of days. So you can do that at any point and just have it sitting in the fridge. So I'll talk you through how to make the jelly and show you what it's gonna look like. So for the dessert, we are going to be making a chocolate orange trifle. Yeah, yay! Uh, so first of all, you need to start off by making a jelly base like this. So what you're gonna need is the mixer mousse, and you're also going to need the water flavoring. So we're gonna make it with orange. So you're going to get 100 mils of hot water because you need it hot so that the mix and mousse will dissolve. And then you're gonna put in half a teaspoon of your water flavoring and mix it into the hot water. And then you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of the mix and mousse and then blend. I always make it in a little Pyrex jug and use a stick hand blender because it's easier, it's quicker, and you're only making a very small amount of liquid. So one half teaspoons of this and then blend. You need to blend fairly quickly before this starts to set. Once you've blended it, you'll get like a froth that settles on top. You spoon off that foam and then all you do is you pop it in whatever glass you're gonna make your uh, trifle in and then you put that in the fridge to set. It'll probably take a couple of hours to set, um, but like I said, you can make it the day before, you can make it a couple of days before, so you can get nice and ahead of yourself. So for our Christmas dinner today, I'm going to put um, a little picture on screen now to show you everything we've got in our Christmas dinner, how, what the measurement is, and how many calories are in it, and the same for the dessert. So you'll see that next. Now, for the Christmas dinner itself, I am going to be using the calories that are in our steps book as a guide, and then working out how many calories I've got for each portion as we go along. So, if you go to your steps book, you will see it starts on what to eat and then it will start listing calories and it will say at the top what steps it's suitable for. Um, so the first step you'll have is step two. Step two is 80 grams of veg and one portion of protein from the other side. So to make it easy for step two and step three, we're going to be using the step two portions as a base. So we're going to be doing 80 grams of Brussels sprouts for step two, turn over the page and uh, 170 grams of turkey breast. And that will give us our base um, for them to make it for step three. So if you are following step two, we're just gonna make it with Brussels sprouts and turkey, but you can choose 80 grams of vegetables from anything on this list and you can mix and match as long as it comes to 80 grams in total. Um, so that is what we're going to do. So my turkey is all in the oven, all of that's getting going. Um, now we're going to have, I'm spoiling you right here, we're going to have parsnips and we're going to have roast potatoes and this dinner is going to come to 400 calories. I know, I know. So basically what we're going to do, I've kind of got notes in front of me so I know what I'm doing. We're going to have, we're just going to have one little parsnip because parsnips are fairly high in calories. Um, and we're also going to have three roast potatoes. We are going to um, dry roast them, for want of a better word. So I'm going to use Fry Light. I'm gonna use that. 
on a baking tray. So I'm going to put that in the baking tray so it makes it non-stick. I've got a non-stick baking tray, but it's getting old, so I'm putting on this on first. And then we're just going to spray our parsnips and our roast potatoes with the fry light and then pop them in the oven to roast as we normally would and turn them occasionally. So if you're, if the rest of your family is making roast potatoes, roast parsnips, all those good things with, you know, duck fat, goose fat, those kinds of things, which are gonna add huge amounts of calories, olive oil, any of that, you may want to keep yours separate, weigh it out, know what you've got, keep it separate, and just use the fry light to cook yours so that you're not adding calories in that you don't really need and will push your Christmas dinner over if you are watching those calories. So the thing I would say is if you're just cooking a very small amount of parsnip or potato for yourself with the fry light, it might only take 40 minutes to an hour. It depends how big chunks you cut it into. Um, so do check on that. So what I've used is we have about 25 grams of parsnip and then I have used, I'm just going to look at what I've got. We've got about 90 grams of potatoes. All of the measurements are raw so weigh them raw and then you'll get your calories so the parsnips are coming to about 15 17 calories and the potatoes are coming to about 67 calories so that's what you're looking at we've got 170 calories for the turkey breast and 20 calories for your brussels sprouts because we're using that step two as a base also what we're going to have is we will also going to have carrots. So I'm gonna weigh those out now. So as well as my 80 grams of Brussels sprouts, I'm going to have 100 grams of carrots. Now, obviously you can switch out the veg for whichever veg you like and just work out the calories so it fits in with what you want to do for Christmas dinner, but I really like carrots. So that's all I'm gonna have in this version of it. Um, and 80, 100 grams of carrots works out to 42 calories and like I said before it's all in your steps book so it's nice and simple to work out. So my brussels and my carrots I'm just going to straightforward boil them nice and simple. There is another way that you could do your veg if you want to make it really easy for yourself and don't really want to do any weighing for step three and above you could use these they're those little um steam bags this is what the packet looks like for the bird's eye ones this is 135 grams of veg and it's 61 calories. You put it on a plate and you put it in the microwave for three minutes and it's done and you have a portion of veg, you know exactly how many calories are in it. So if you're trying to manage your calories in a really simple, easy way, this is a really, really good way to do it. And we're also going to have one Yorkshire pudding as part of this Christmas dinner. I know not everyone has them as part of their Christmas dinner, but I really like a Yorkshire pudding on my Christmas dinner, so I'm gonna include it. Um, I'm just gonna use the frozen kind, the basic frozen kind. I've got these ones from Tesco, and they work out to 33 calories for a little frozen Yorkshire pud. Um, the good thing about getting them frozen like this is it tells you how many calories are in them so it's nice and simple to make up your Christmas dinner but if you did not want one of these you could take this off of the calories um, that I'm doing and you could bulk up your veg or have maybe an extra roast potato if you've got enough calories there um, and if you're going way in above step three and you're looking for step four you've got a little bit more leeway to bulk up some of these things and get more calories in your Christmas dinner and really enjoy it. The other thing that we're going to include is a teaspoon of cranberry sauce. Now, all of these will come out at slightly different calorie amounts, but this one is the co-op brand, and it tells me on here one teaspoon is 33 calories. Um, so that's what we're gonna use. Obviously, again, if you don't enjoy cranberry sauce, you can take this out of your calorie cal calculations and use those calories for something you do enjoy. So we're gonna be using Bisto. Uh, for our gravy because what is a Christmas dinner without gravy and um, this is just to keep it nice and simple and know how many calories that I've got in my Christmas dinner um, so I'm just using the normal red one and it tells me on here per 50 ml portion of prepared contains uh, one serving contains 13 calories so we're just going to make this up as instructed for those calories I mean, it's only gonna be a little bit of gravy. If you've got calories spare, 
or you're not making the dessert as part of this for 600 calories, then of course you could have more of this. So um, do play around with it. But this is what we're gonna use for our gravy. And that's it. Our Christmas dinner is ready to go. So a quick recap, and there will be a video after this showing how I made the Christmas dinner and also how we finished off the dessert. So this is our main meal. And we have, from the step two allowance, we have 170 grams of turkey breast and 80 grams of Brussels sprouts, making our 200 calories. That is your step two meal. For step three, to make it up to 410 calories in total, you're looking at 25 grams of parsnip, 90 grams of roast potatoes, one frozen Yorkshire pudding, and 100 grams of carrots, plus just under 50 mils of gravy made up as per the instructions on the Bisto packet. And all of that, oh, and a teaspoon of cranberry sauce, nearly forgot. All of that comes to 410 calories. And then you've got your dessert to come if you wish to use up your 600 calories. And I'll show you how to finish that off now. If you are wanting to do a step two Christmas dinner, this is 170 grams of turkey breast and 80 grams of Brussels sprouts and that will meet your step two requirement. So for step three, here is your 170 grams of turkey breast. Then you have 80 grams of Brussels sprouts, 100 grams of carrots for your additional veg, add your Yorkshire pudding and your teaspoon of cranberry sauce, add your 50 mils of gravy and you have a delicious Christmas roast dinner. Look at that. And you get to tuck in all for 400 calories. Okay, so part two of making the dessert. We're going to use a chocolate shake. You're gonna to wanna to make this dessert not long before you want to eat it because you need to consume the sachet products within 15 minutes or start consuming them within 15 minutes or the nutrients will diminish. So we're going to use half a sachet of this and we're gonna mix it with 150 mils of cold water this time. And then you're going to add in one and a half to two teaspoons of mix mousse, depending on the set you like. And then we're going to blend that with the stick blender like we did before. And I will insert a video to show you how to do it here. And then once uh, it's all blended, you're just going to pour it into your glass on top of the jelly that's already set, and then pop it back in your fridge near the back um, so it can get nice and cold, and it's gonna take about 10 minutes to set, which is why you can leave it right till just before you're gonna eat it to make it. So for the final part of the dessert, you wanna take half of a chocolate orange bar, and you're gonna cut it up and pop it on top of your trifle that's now sat. So this is the jelly made with water flavoring, half a sachet chocolate shake, and half a bar of chocolate orange. So this, with your Christmas dinner, comes to just over 600 calories. Perfect for step three, even step four. And if you're on step two, you could still have this dessert as one of your products and have your 170 grams of turkey breast plus your 80 grams of Brussels for your main all sorted. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and I hope this has given you some ideas for an on-plan Christmas dinner.